what is going on? Next day here, we're actually now in Illinois, so we jumped over a state, and uh, we're looking at an OBS Ford today. Pretty clean looking truck from the videos and pictures you sent me, but you know, I've had some very good photos sent to me before, and then the trucks ended up being nothing like they said it was and that's happened with a lot of different trucks that i've gone and looked at he sent me close-up videos and everything he said dude this thing is super clean i promise you'll be impressed uh, inside and out it's very nice and it's a 7.3 obs ford it looks really good we're on our way now we're gonna get here if the deal goes through i'll show you some of it we got an airbnb over in this town because it's three hours and 15 minutes from home and we're only 20 minutes out now so i thought let's get an airbnb because it's going to be later in the evening uh just get the truck take it easy hang out go get dinner whatever we'll just head home in the morning no sense in rushing through the night when we can't work in the night anyways when we get home so might as well just take it slow and be smart and safe and do it when we're not tired in the morning and because of course when things go wrong it's usually at the most inconvenient time and i'd rather if something were to go wrong i hope it does not but if something were to go wrong i'd rather be in broad daylight versus in the dark so that's that's also part of the part of the reason for waiting till tomorrow to head home we're gonna go check this thing out hopefully it's what we're looking for if it is you'll see more if it isn't we'll tell you why it isn't Well fam, we picked up a freaking minty OBS 73 Ford. The guy selling the truck, his buddy was actually there too and he watched the videos. He's like, you look so familiar. He's like, do you do a lot of Dodge trucks on YouTube? Yep, I do. He's like, I watch your videos, dude all the time he's like that's crazy it was kind of cool so um it was a great experience super cool guys by the way i mean i honestly am uh, super super pleased with the price we got on it it's it's super clean uh, i'm gonna go pick up some texas roadhouse we're gonna hang out watch a movie have fun get breakfast in the morning then go back home kind of make like a fun trip out of it because it's not the funnest thing to drive that far and then drive separate all the way back that far uh, and the only reason i'm doing that is because i did get the dually compound turbos done but i didn't really want to do my first test on like a three and a half hour trip it just because it, it just yeah if something's gonna go wrong it's gonna be the most inconvenient time when you're like farthest away from home so i am gonna do a towing test video with that truck though with the kit on it before it goes off so i think in the next video or two i'm gonna actually be buying a tractor not a newer tractor i decided to go with something a little bit older just something that'll be good enough to do a little tilling or disking and then uh, some bush hogging at one of my properties so that's what we're gonna do for the first towing video it's only like a 3200 pound tractor we're gonna pull it behind the 20 foot trailer and it'll be a nice little test it's a one hour trip uh, to the place and one hour back and i'm supposed to pick that up tomorrow as soon as we get back home so we're gonna be busy with content but we're gonna get back here tomorrow and i'm gonna pick the camera up and show you guys a full video around this truck right now we're just in a subdivision there's people everywhere i don't really want you know i don't want to be yelling around and filming everybody else's cars and plates and addresses and stuff and it's going to be too much cutting out stuff so uh, we're going to get on the road here tomorrow morning and i'll show you the truck as soon as we're back home well, i'm not going to do too much filming and driving this thing i mean it gets up to speed good shift points are really really good for i'm guessing a stock transmission and it rides i mean you can see it's got the typical typical kind of loose steering wheel but it's really nice and straight down the road. I'm really, really impressed how how nice this thing rides compared to the other OBS that I've had. And when I say the other OBS, I'm not talking about the white one because that one rode amazing because, I mean, it was only like a four inch lift. Uh, but I don't know what this is, but I'm guessing it's between like four and eight. It's pretty big, but it's not like small as the blue and white one I had that was 12 inches of lift in 40s and 24 by 14s and 22 by 14s. Man, that thing was crazy. I'm so freaking excited to show you this thing. It's been a while since we've had 
a Ford on the channel and you know I was I was not looking for this particular truck like an F-250 extended cab red whatever I wasn't looking for the specific truck it's kind of hard to be picky in this market there's not a lot of options available and if they are available they're super super expensive but I kind of had this itch for a Ford and so I was looking around at like the new body style 7.3s. I really like those. My dad had one growing up. We had one on the channel. We, you know, color mash and did custom interior and all this stuff. And it was really sweet. But I wasn't finding much of anything except for one. And the guy wasn't going to be available for another week because he was out of town and whatever. So I was like, man, there's just nothing. There's just really not much available. And then this popped up for sale and it was 200 miles away. And I'm like, okay. So I messaged the guy and he's like, yeah, I'm selling it for a friend. You know, she bought the truck, drove it a couple years, I think he said, and just, you know, doesn't need it anymore. She got something newer that's more comfortable and whatever. You know how this, you know how it goes sometimes. You just, once you get one of these, you realize, oh wow, if you don't understand old trucks, you don't realize how they ride. They just, they don't ride like a new truck, you know? And a new truck essentially rides like our Cadillac here, you know, cause this is essentially a Sierra 1500. All that being said, uh, the truck went up for sale and the price was just too good to, like it seemed too good to be true and you know the truck was super clean he sent me photos he sent me videos and i was like so there's nothing wrong with it he said no there's nothing wrong with it i said so you trusted driving 200 miles back he said yeah i'm like it just it just seemed too good to be true because the market's been so so hot if you would ask me a year ago or two years ago the price would have been like spot on for a super clean obs but the market right now, I was like, there's no way this guy's gonna sell it for this, you know? Like, but in the same sense, if they bought it a couple years ago, you know, they might not have as much into it as if, you know, you're buying a truck in the market right now. It's, it's absurd what people are asking for trucks and they're getting it. I mean, rusted out crap, people are getting top dollar. I just, I never thought I'd see that, but it's happening right now. All that being said, I happened to find this thing. I got a hold of the guy and I actually didn't get a message back from him for a couple of hours because he was at work, but I knew where he was roughly located based on the Facebook Marketplace message. And so I just put in the GPS, we hopped in the Cadillac, we booked an Airbnb nearby, and we just went. And I had no idea what he was gonna say in terms of, you know, an address for sure, or, you know, if somebody else was coming to look at it first, or I had no idea. All I knew was the price was amazing. And he gave me a general idea, you know, the town they were in with the Facebook marketplace thing. And I said, I'm gonna get in the car, babe. We're going, we booked a place. I'm like, if we if we show up and it's already gone, cool. We'll just stay at the Airbnb, have a good time, go get dinner, it'll be fun. But if it's available, we need to buy this truck for that price. That We just cannot pass it up. And we're on the road and he sends me a message, I kid you not, like we're maybe 45 minutes away. And he's like, yeah, man, I just got off work. You can come on over and check it out. And I was like, sweet. So I got over there, checked it out, and I just, I couldn't pass it up. It was just way too clean, way too nice. And it was just set up the way that I would want it to be set up. Now, this is going to be the next giveaway truck. It's going to be the next giveaway truck. And the giveaway for this truck starts, mark your calendars, May 13th. So if you want to get in on this, the giveaway starts May 13th and our best entry deal is going to be for the first week only. So make sure you mark that on your calendars. You get ready. It's going to be awesome. May 13th. Be ready. So all that being said, it's a 96 F250 XLT and it's got all the bells and whistles for that year of truck. As far as I know, it's got remote lock and unlock all power windows, power mirrors. It's got the cab lights. I love the cab lights. But yeah, the, the lock and unlock, it, it all works. I, you know, like I couldn't believe it. I don't know if this is aftermarket, but it says Ford on it. So I'm assuming it was a factory option thing and everything works. The shocks are newer. I believe it has a lift um, because there's just no way it's this tall and it's stock, but yeah it's it's freaking sweet extended cab long bed i know there's guys that are like oh only get the crew cabs or only get extended cabs or only get regular cab whatever everybody has a preference guys if you've seen the market right now if you're looking for a truck it is really hard to be picky because there's not much available but yeah it's super clean other than the dirt i got on it driving it back 200 miles but it's it's mint i mean the bumper's in great shape the tailgate the bed, the paint's awesome. It could use some tint, but for the most part, I really like the way that the truck is. And let me know down in the comments what you guys are thinking, but it's on, I believe, 16 by 10s. They're on Mickey Thompson Baja ATZs, and I'm gonna guess they're 35s, but it looks 
perfect. I don't know if I would change anything on this truck. Because we are also picking up another project that does need a lot of work. So I was kind of like, when I saw this, I was like, this truck is like perfect. If somebody's wanting like an old school cool truck that's not like all broed out with the huge deep dish wheels and crap, I'm like, this thing would be perfect. And I know we haven't done like the big, big deep dish wheels, you know, in the last like two giveaway trucks, you know, with the first gen and the dually and now this one, but you know, we've done a lot of that in the past. We used to only do that. And the more I drive a truck on like 16s or 18s with a lot more rubber, the more I like it. I mean, this thing drives really nice. And on an old truck like this, you know, a nice ride is very important because otherwise it's not that nice. But yeah, like I said, the only thing I would maybe change is the tint. But I mean, I like all the, the original trim pieces and the bezels and the fender trim and everything is so clean. There's no like rot or rust tidying up in here. It's, I mean, it's, it's really, really nice. It's got the dual fuel tanks and they work. And I'll even open the fuel doors to show you. Sometimes you can tell if it's been like completely redone, you open the fuel doors and then it's like blue or it's green or it's, you know, whatever color the truck used to be, but everything is, um, Everything, if it was completely repainted, which it may have been, whoever did it, did a freaking awesome job. I mean, this is like OEM quality. Everything looks amazing. Because I mean, even like under the doors, if I can get it to focus, everything is perfect. Everything is, you know, I mean, it, it's just amazing how clean this thing is all the way around. Dash is in pretty good shape. It's got like three little cracks in the leather, but nothing bad. Headliner's got one little burn hole right there, like maybe somebody hit it with a cigarette on accident. Seats are in really good shape. Everything, everything's awesome. Everything works. The lumbar, the power lumbar works. The seats work. You pull one lever and then it pulls forward and slides forward. Rear seat is in awesome shape. It's even still got the original little cup holder things. <laughs> it's got a funny cut. It works, it works. It's got a little car scent thing. I don't know what that's for, but it smells like a very new truck in here, so I'll keep it. I'm sure you guys wanna hear it start up. I mean, what would the what would the video be worth watching if you didn't start it up? So this isn't like a cold start, but here you go. She purrs. And the doors aren't all saggy and out of alignment, you know. It doesn't leak a drop. I had it parked on pavement all night at the Airbnb and didn't leak a drop once I parked it. And in the morning I came out, not a speck of oil on the ground. No oil, no coolant, no fuel, nothing. After I cold started it this morning, it was out there idling for probably 10, 15 minutes, not a speck of oil grease, fluids of any kind, nothing under. I mean, it doesn't leak a drop. Just listen to it. It's a beautiful thing. going to be it for this video. I know it wasn't like a lot. It was just about the truck, the new vehicle to the channel. This isn't going to be like a big time project, but other than the wheels and tires, because I really do love them. You guys can let me know if, you, if everybody like votes against it, like, oh, absolutely not. We hate these. Then I'll swap them out. But I just really don't see the point. The tires are, the tires are literally brand new Mickey Thompson's. The pattern is a tread pattern I like on this. This is the wheel, is a wheel style I like on this truck. It just looks super mean and rides good. The truck really doesn't need anything that maybe a full service, just to make sure all the fluids are good. But other than that, it really doesn't need anything. You know, if you guys want to change out the headlights for some clear ones with LEDs or the cab lights with clear ones with LEDs or what have you, let me know. I will do some stuff to this truck if you guys really want some stuff done to it. But otherwise, I mean, it's, it's a really nice mint 
original Ford and it's it's hard to find them like this. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Remember May 13th, the giveaway for this goes live and this giveaway is gonna be two weeks shorter than the last two. So it's not gonna be six weeks, it's only gonna be four this time. So you're gonna have to get in sooner than later on this next one, but uh, it's, it's, it's an awesome truck. You guys would love it and we proved it by the 200 mile trip back this morning. So anyways guys, I'll catch you in the next video when we're picking up a tractor. And that's all I'm going to say for now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.